This is why I love Southern California. Look at this sun. It's fucking what? It's it's October 30th. You know, it should be all fucking gloomy and shit. But look at this. Look at this beautiful sun and palm trees. You know. All right. Here's my wrist strap. Here's the um. What would you call it? I guess like the program or uh, I don't know the general info for the show Long Beach Comic Con 2010 it's kinda cool how it looks like it's a comic it's basically you know in comic form but yeah so it's the uh, you know the program or whatever souvenir book all in one it's got all the info there's the the map and everything so yeah pretty cool it's a pretty cool show um and this and these these were all freebies by the way uh except for except for the last one but i'll show that in a second uh spider-man saga this is cool it, it basically is like the cliff's notes version of the entire spider-man saga um so it's kind of cool it gets you uh all caught up on basically on on spider-man story and then <laughs> Tiny Titans, uh, you know, so we had Teen Titans and we're taking every even younger than that to the Tiny Titans. I've actually never seen this comic. Uh, it does look really cute though. So, and then Ozma of Oz, variant edition. So, as you can see, it costs zero point zero zero dollars. Yeah, so, you know, this is a, a freebie. It looks pretty cool. The artwork's really nice. I'll probably give this a read. And then we have The Walking Dead. Uh, number 78. Long Beach Comic Con exclusive. It's the, the photo version. Um, I'm, I haven't previously read the walking dead uh but my my fiance recently read uh got into the graphic novels she started from the start and in in a matter of days caught up to to number 77 uh so she she basically got hooked and addicted like crazy uh i've just been waiting for for the show and which which we finally saw it this past sunday night really good uh so this is actually for her it's the one thing uh one comic that i bought over there and actually uh this was supposed to be for the only people that can purchase this was people that purchase i think like the whole the whole weekend pass but um one the magic man pulled some strings so he was able to get one and and i was able to get one too so there you have it Onto some figures. I didn't buy a whole lot. In fact, I just bought I just bought a few, and I only bought from one dealer. Um, here's the the TMNT Bigfoot figure. It was only six bucks. If you're not familiar with this, looks like let me get this opened up real quick, and I'll give you guys a look. All right, here we go. So if you saw the movie, that animated movie uh, TMNT, uh, you might be familiar with this. I I wasn't familiar with it when it was on the table. Uh, it wasn't with the box. I thought it looked cool. Actually, it reminded me slightly of a of a gun dark. If you're if you're in Star Wars, you might know what that is. If you even if you are in Star Wars, or if you're not into it, and you don't know what a gun dark is. It's a it's one of the creatures uh, in the Star Wars universe, and it's been mentioned in the, in the original trilogies, and we've seen it in in the Clone Wars. And this reminded me of a gun dark. So. What I thought this could be cool to use as a as a Star Wars creatures. You know, it's always cool in the Star Wars universe to have have creatures and stuff. So that's what I'm going to use this for. You know, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I'm definitely you know going to use it as a Star Wars creature. Pretty cool. It's a, quite a large figure. You know, to give you a quick comparison of size. There you go. All right. I didn't promote it. This is like San Diego Comic Con 1993. That's so cute, dude. So on to some, some loose figures I picked up. All, like I said, again, all from the same dealer. Uh, toy Addicts, but um, I'll tell you more about them later. Uh, really good prices. Got a little mouse droid. 
for a buck. Ala Sakura, three bucks. I believe this is Cody. It's the hologram version. Really cool. I'm, I don't think I've gotten any hologram versions. Not not any that I've opened. I, I think I've gotten some exclusives, the older ones. Um, yeah, five bucks. And then Queen Amidala from episode one. This was always one of my favorite looks on her. So, just awesome. Two bucks. A couple older snow troopers. And a battle droid. I believe this was from episode 3. I may have one like this. Not sure, but I, I really like how it's... Oh, sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm looking at the figure. I wasn't looking through the camera. Um, I like the, uh, the, the paint and the weathering on this. Jen's all up in my video. Oh, <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. You can be all up. <laughs> Got some carded figures. These were three bucks each. Arc 170. Well, it's clone pilots, but you know, it's the. If I'm not mistaken, they were the pilots uh, for the Arc 170. And actually, I got these. These will be contest prizes. These two, both of them. Because uh, I figured, you know, there's a lot. You know, for people out there who, who don't have a. or who have an Arc 170, or maybe planning to get the, the one currently out on shelves, you're going to need some pilots for them. Here you go. Uh, details on the contest coming sometime. And then I got Han Solo in his um, in the was it disguise? What is it? The ATST driver disguise. I got this sexy ass Padme. This is one of the hottest Padme <laughs> outfits ever. All these things are removable and. She can look like that, and she has a little cup right there to get crunk, you know. Bottoms up. <laughs> so her and Anakin can... And then uh, Padme from... This was originally seen in the original Clone Wars series. Where Ilum, I believe it was, yeah. Uh, in the snow, uh, and this is the more kind of realistic version not the not the animated style so very cool although it's it's cool how they have a photo over like did they did they plan was maybe is that photoshopped or did they actually you know shoot that uh and maybe she was planning to be seen like i don't know oh look there's a dirty old man right there he's, he's scoping that booty out and that car was all screeching because he was he was checking the booty out too. So yeah, all of these were uh, from Toy Addicts. Uh, John John uh, is the owner. Uh, was hanging out a bit with him and and the dude running the booth. I didn't catch his name. Uh, so ch go check them out. Toyaddicts.net and also One Shots World. This is the dude that actually. He approached me and asked me if, if uh, the dude, if this dude John, uh, remembered me from from their old shop, the Toy Box. I, I was like confused. I was like, huh? You know, why would you recognize me? This was years ago. This was over ten years ago. There used to be the shop called the Toy Box. Um, but yeah, and then so one shot. He's he's this uh, he's a one six scale aficionado and he's local. Um, so if you're into one six scale. Hut, <laughs> I don't know how many uh, uh, others of you, of my viewers, might be in a one six scale. That's twelve inch action figures. If you don't know, uh, Cold Ice thirty three. Although he's kind of on hiatus from YouTube, uh, so yeah, go check out one shots world dot com. Oh, what we got right there? Oh, oh dang. what's that wasp? Toodlem booty. All right, so there you have it. It's my haul for uh. Long Beach Comic Con. Uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, as far as the show itself, it was okay. Uh, you know, I think this is what their second year. It's pretty, very small. I mean, if you you compare it to Comic Con, you just you shouldn't compare it to Comic Con. You know, it's tiny. Uh, so yeah, but it was it was cool. Look at that the fucking the sun and palm trees and a, and a Mexican mowing mowing the lawn. <laughs> 